Senior Life Journeys presents Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia, a podcast designed to help caregivers find knowledge, power, hope, and smiles in their dementia caregiving journey. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Here is your host, best-selling author, Carol Howell. Hi, caregivers. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. I am Carol Howell, your host, and I'm glad you're here today. Well, today I want to tell you a little story um, that makes me think about come listen to a little story about a man named Jed, but that's not what we're going to talk about. <laughs> we're going to talk about taking care of you. Um, I had a video pop up on Facebook from one year ago today. It was a video I actually did one year ago yesterday, and it was done at the hospital in a consultation room while waiting for my friend Charlotte to come out of breast cancer surgery. Now, Charlotte's story was kind of interesting, and I want to share it with you and bring it to a point here. Um, Charlotte had spent a great deal of time not going to the doctor. She didn't get regular pelvic exams. She didn't get mammograms. I don't think she got anything grammed, <laughs> you know. No, she didn't get her blood pressure checked and her sugar checked and all that stuff. She just was fine. And then one day she had a health issue that took her to the emergency room and um, brought about a need for a little procedure. And the doctor said, how long since you've had a mammogram? And she said, well, a very long time. And so he recommended she get the mammogram. Well, she did and found out she had breast cancer. Now, we are just amazed and blessed at the fact that she had stage zero breast cancer. Okay. I did not know there was a stage zero, and when the little woman called and told me, Carol, I got stage zero breast cancer, I thought, she didn't hear that right, because there's not a stage zero, but there is, and that's, if you're going to find out you've got breast cancer, you want to hear the words stage zero um, before it. Uh, So that that was excellent news. She wound up needing to have a lumpectomy, a fairly deep incision that um, she took care of and healed quickly from and then had radiation afterwards. But it all made me think about you guys when that video popped up. Are you taking care of yourself? It's been on my mind lately. Last week, I did have my mammogram. And while I don't enjoy having that done, no, it's not fun but it's necessary. And you know, it only hurts while they're mashing your boob. It does not hurt after they let go. So, you know, you can breathe through it and make it. And um, my letter came this week that everything was fine. You know, you read that letter and you think, oh, that's really good news. Throw it in the trash. I didn't do that because I remember when Charlotte got the news that it was not all fine and how I wish she had gotten a letter that said, everything's fine. See you in a year we kind of take that for granted. So don't do that. But also make sure you're current on that. Now, I know you're busy caregiving. I know it's hard to get time away. And maybe you've got to arrange for someone to come sit with your loved one so you can go get a mammogram or go to the doctor and get other things checked. You've got to do it, folks. You've got to take time for yourself because if you're not monitoring your health and something happens to you, who's going to take care of your loved one? you got to think about this. So periodically we're supposed to do this about it once a month at our house we're not real good at remembering to do it we check our blood pressure so today we're going to do that so i have this omron um, version of a blood pressure cut kit um let's see if there's a model on it here bp78 girl got to put the glasses back on bp78 5N. That's it. BP785N. We researched it and found out that this particular blood pressure cuff was ranked among the most um, accurate. So we bought it and it's easy to use. And I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to keep track of your blood pressure. So you got to get the cuff put on your arm and the tubing coming out of the cuff needs to line up with the center of your inner arm, right where your arm bends. Make sure you've got the cuff past your elbow, up going towards your elbow, going towards your shoulder, and strap it on there. Now, I was taught to hold my arm, um, uh, what is that thing called? Heart. (laughs) Heart level, so that um, that would give a more accurate reading. Some people just let their arm hang. It's not what I was told. Or else rest it on a pillow, whatever. I normally just hold my hand, um, my arm in the other hand, let it rest there. Then all you have to do on this cute little machine is press the start button. And when you do, it will start pumping up. You might can hear that pumping up noise. And it gets tighter and tighter. 
And I'm one of the people who thinks having your blood pressure checked is not particularly enjoyable because my skin is sensitive. And I really feel this on my skin. But it's kind of like having your boobies mashed. It only lasts for a little bit of time. Did I just say boobies? You're not supposed to say that. So <clears throat> let me just sit still here for a minute. Breathing in. Breathing out. Because if you're moving around a good bit, you could cause your blood pressure to go up just by doing that. Hopefully I've not done it. In and out. <clears throat> and mine came up normal. Now on my machine, it shows 129 over 72. Let me get this so you can see it hopefully. And you can see that the light is on on the systolic and on down below. What is that? It's diatolic? Di I don't know. I don't remember what that word is. I know the top one's systolic, but it's lit up in green. And the green means happy go all is well. It turns up in red, not so happy. You need to be working on getting your blood pressure down. Turn it off, take it off, good to go. That's how easy. Oh, let's get this cup off. That's how easy it is to check your blood pressure. Now, if you notice that your blood pressure is a little high, I highly recommend taking it in the other arm. See what you show there. And don't freak out if it's high. Check it tomorrow. Check it for three or four days, maybe every other day for a while or every day for a while. Write it down and keep track of it. If you consistently have high blood pressure, then let's get it checked. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have just had a stressful time with your loved one, it's not the time to take your blood pressure because it's high. You're stressed. Maybe take it when you wake up first thing in the morning and you're feeling more relaxed. Now, we also want to check our blood sugar. Now, the kit that we have is just one from Walgreens. This is called True Metrics. There's all kinds of blood pressure, or not blood pressure, blood sugar kits. They're just very cheap. Um, but you take the needle and you, you twist the little end off the needle. You stick it down in there. You put the cap back on the the little device and then you pull back it spring loads it and when you press the button hear it it clicks spring load clicks that's when the needle is going to come out you can set whatever um, depth the needle needs to protract here by one two three four five mine's set right in the middle on three before you do that you're going to take your monitor and you've got a container of strips you're going to reach in and get a con uh, get a strip and put it into the machine, the side that um, has the little strip, the one single strip is exposed. The other end goes into the machine like so. You just stick it in there and the machine will come on so it's ready. It beat. So all I've got to do is take my finger and massage the end just a little bit and get the blood flowing to that end. I'm going to pull back on that, put it on my finger, press the button, and a little bit of blood's going to come out. I'm going to take this monitor, put it up to it. No, do, do, do. There we go. And, and it did a little beep. It is registering it. It's going to pop up here and tell us what my blood sugar is. Well, my blood sugar right now at 1045 in the morning after having had breakfast and walking for two and a half miles is 96. That's good. If you have um, blood sugar... Uh, below 100 at fasting, meaning you've gotten it, you've taken your blood sugar reading first thing in the morning before you've eaten. If it's below 100, that's a good thing. Mine's below 100, and I've already had breakfast, so that's a very good thing for me. You so you want your sugar to be below 100 fasting. You want your blood pressure to be 120 over 80, all the way up to potentially 140 over 90. But I think your doctor's going to tell you to keep it closer to the 120 over 80 thing. If your blood pressure is high consistently, you need to do something about it. It is called the silent killer. Your blood pressure can be high and you not know it and you've done some doing some serious damage to your body. Same thing with your blood sugar. Your blood sugar, you might know that though because it just makes you feel foggy and lethargic and you, you just don't feel right. You know, something just doesn't feel right about you. Could be your blood sugar. Just keep a check on these things, folks. That's something simple you can do at home and you don't have to hire a caregiver to go get it checked. Keep it monitored, and if something starts getting out of whack, then you know you need to go to the doctor. Of course, remember, we're going to the doctor and getting that blood work done and the mammogram and the pap smear and all that junk you don't like to do. And every seven years, is it seven years? No. How many every years it is you have to get the um, colonoscopy? Oh, that's just loads of fun. But you need to do it. 
take care of yourself because I need you to come back and listen to another episode or watch another episode of Let's Talk Dementia. Blessings and smiles. Let's Talk Dementia would like to thank our sponsors, National Association of Veterans and Families. You can reach them at 800-352-2919 on the internet at www.navf.org. They speak veterans so you don't have to. And you tell them Carol sent you when you call to inquire about benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Editor Beth, you can find Ms. Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is amazing at looking at what you've written and making sure it represents you well. Find her at www.EditorBeth.com. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's York County. 803-985-0985. They are there for the hunt, the repair and maintenance of your Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Kia. Tell them Carol sent you. Thanks for joining us today for Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia. To learn more about dementia, we recommend Carol's best-selling book, also titled Let's Talk Dementia. It's available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. Be sure to like Let's Talk Dementia on Facebook and leave us a kind word of review on iTunes. Remember, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. Hope brings smiles. And we all need more smiles. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll be right here when you come back to Let's Talk Dementia.